hey guys and welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be an eyeshadow actually it's not an eyeshadow tutorial it's a full face tutorial I actually did my whole face on camera I haven't done that I don't think aside yeah no I haven't I'm doing my eyeshadow and my face makeup on camera it's kind of like a forest green smoky eye I mean I you know I always do my smoky eyes but I don't know if like the camera's picking up on how green it is but super pretty definite fall vibes and I'm definitely feeling it so if you guys I'm not even gonna bother so if you guys would like to see how I achieve this look then please keep watching all right so let's get started first we're gonna prime our face and apply some foundation I do have um pretty big breakout here so we're just gonna conceal that I have like an assortment of makeup over here and I have no idea what we're gonna play with today so to start I'm gonna be using the milk hydro primer and I'm just applying this all over my face yeah I can I don't know how people do their makeup with their hair on their face because I can't stand it all right that's a lot better and then I'm also gonna try the Becca I'm also gonna be testing out the Becca velvet blurring primer perfecting base and I'm just gonna use a little bit of this just on my pore area just to test it out see what this bad boy is all about I'm all about testing new primers especially blurring ones oh no it's like flaking oh, I'm not cool for foundation, I'm going to be using the Tarte Found Sealer Foundation, and I'm just going to be using a dense brush to apply it, and just spraying it with some setting spray. Ooh, I don't know my mirror. And then for concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and mixing it with the Morphe Concealer. Just this one's like my skin tone, this one's a little light, so I'm just going to mix it too. And then I'm going to be setting my under eyes with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I haven't used this guy in forever. I've been so obsessed with the Huda Beauty Setting Powder. I forgot how much I love this powder. So we're breaking this bad boy out today. Now I'm just going to prime my eyelids. I'm using the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I forgot to do it earlier, so we're just going to slap some on there. And then set our lids with the Translucent Setting Powder. And then I set the rest of my face with setting powder as well, just to smooth everything out. Now I'm just going to set my face with some setting spray, just because we have a lot of powder going on, and I always like to take little steps in between my makeup to set my, set my face. Okay. 
Then for bronzer, I'm going to be using the Hoola Caramel. And since I have a tan going on, we're going to bathe in it. Oh my. That was dirty. And then just blending everything out with just a clean brush, as always. Then for our nose contour, I'm just going to be using the regular Hoola by, uh, by Benefit. I'm just gonna go for like a little bit more of a contoured nose today. I just want like a little bit more of a chiseled look. Normally I just like bronze it up a little bit, but today I wanna actually like sit here and contour it. And then from the shade and light palette by Kat Von D, I'm just gonna be taking that light banana shade and just highlighting my nose or the center of my nose just to help carve out that contour a little bit more and then just buff it out what do I want to do what's next what's what's next I'm taking hula as well and just carving out my jawline as well For blush, I'm going to be doing a little like cocktail of mixture kind of thing. They're kind of the same tones. I'm going to be using Party by Tarte and then mixing a little bit of Honey Shear by Jane Ardell and then also mixing, <laughs> this is so excessive, and then also mixing, uh, what shade is this, uh, Rose Initial from Chanel and then just mixing those three. And I always like to take my blush all the way back into my bronzer just so that the transition is nice from the bronze to the blush. I'm like trying to figure out what I want to do. I like wanted to do a glittery look, but then I'm like, I kind of want to do like a forest green smudgy look. I don't know which one. I think I'm going to go with a green. Let's see what I want to dive into. All right, so now we're going to jump into eyes. And for today's eyeshadow look, I'm using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection palette. And this is the Armed and Gorgeous palette. And I'm going to be using this green shade right here. This is the color Top Secret. So we're going to start with that color. And since we're using dark colors, I'm just going to apply some extra setting powder on my under eyes just to catch any fallout that we might have. And I'm using the Huda Beauty because it's so good for catching fallout. And I'm going to start by packing on that shade really low. And just building up that color. And I'm just following the shape of my eye. And I don't want to take it up too high because we are going to blend it out with a brown shade. So that will really smoke it out. So just start by really packing on that shade and just keeping it low. Then taking Smooth Criminal, this brown shade right here, and we're just going to blend out that green shade we just applied. Then this is just going to be super repetitive and then just keep building up that shade and blending it out. Mm -hmm. 
Going in windshield wiper motions, just applying Smooth Criminal into the crease. Blending it all with a clean brush. And then pack on more of that green shade. And blend that out. Okay, so eyes are done. Now I'm just gonna clean it up. This bake situation under my eyes. It doesn't dry us out too much. All right, not bad. All right, now so for our waterline, I'm gonna be using a Costa Riche by Mac, and it's just like a nice chocolate-rich liner color, or just a nice rich chocolate shade. And it really makes the brown in my eyes pop, and the green on my lids pop as well. And you can just apply it super sloppy because we're gonna just be smudging out our waterline. And then I'm also putting some on the top of my eye waterline as well. And then taking Top Secret as well and then just smudging out that liner that we just did. Actually, I want to put a little bit more liner because I feel like I can't see it. I always like to focus more of the blown out, like smudgy look on the center of my eye, like right here. And then like going towards the inner corner and the outer corner, just like lighten it up a little bit so that the, the deep and the more smudgy look is more in the center of our eye. And then taking Smooth Criminal again and just lightly going over that, um, top secret that we just put on just to give it a little bit more brown and give it a little bit more depth. So now that that's on, then we're gonna move on to our brows. So I'm just gonna spray some more setting spray because I feel like I'm looking a little dry. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna zhuzh ourselves up a little bit, you know, just zhuzh it up. And then I'm just going to press my beauty blender into my skin and press in that setting spray. And then I'm going to go in with our Laura Mercier Shimmer Block in the Peach Mosaic shade. And we're just going to apply this onto our apples of our cheeks. Just to add like a nice shine. I'm not going to take it too bad because I do have a breakout right here that I don't want to draw any attention to. So just applying this and foc focusing this onto the apples of my cheek. And then blending it out with my clean blush. 
Then taking Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette, and I'm going to be mixing these two shades right here. Then using the Huda Baking Powder, and I'm just going to bake. I'm just gonna do my brows and that's not anything fun, so I'm just gonna skip to the next scene where my brows are on. So for highlight, I'm gonna be using Becca Cosmetic Champagne Pop. And my skin's a little textured currently, so I don't wanna go on too heavy because I don't want my skin to look not good, so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit. And just put some on my nose. And I'm gonna use that as our brow highlight as well. Now for setting spray, I'm using the Farsali Rose Gold Skin Mist. So I'm gonna go put on my lashes and then I'll be right back. Uh, now for our lips, we're gonna use, or I'm gonna use the Sephora Collection Lip Liner in the shade Dress to the 90s. And then for the lipstick, I'm using the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade true story applying a little bit more highlighter on our cupid's bow and then for gloss we're going to be using the dior lip maximizer so i'm going to go do my hair and finish getting ready and then i'll be right back all right guys so this is the finished look i hope you guys enjoy the video i let me know what you guys think of like doing my full face on camera. I don't think I've done it before yet. So let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time, bye guys.